Hello, I'm Bernard Norcott Mahaney. I work at the um, Bluford branch of the Kansas City Public Library, and I also teach a course at Johnson County Community College. And April is National Poetry Month, and so I am using, uh, taking a little bit of time each day to read some poems. Uh, poems are meant to be heard, and so the best way to share poems is to read them aloud. Um, and I do encourage you to find a book of poetry. There are books that are anthologies of poems where you can get a sort of a whole smattering of different poets. Uh, the Norton anthologies are often quite good. Um, and, you know, come upon poems that, wow, that poem was great. Take some time, read it over several times, really get to know it and really get to appreciate it. Um, and then it will actually sort of stay with you. I mean, you'll remember snatches from it, you'll remember phrases from it. Um, and besides, because if you hear it, you'll get more of the power of the poem. Um, that also, I think, helps the poet and the poem itself out. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to read uh, just a handful of verses from the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, uh, as translated by Edward Fitzgerald. Now, Edward Fitzgerald was a contemporary of Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Robert Browning, so the, the mid to late uh, 19th century. And um, Fitzgerald actually and Elizabeth Barrett um, had a, a rather public falling out in the press, the, you know, each of them writing back and forth like letters to the editor about the other. Um, so there was this whole sort of uh, public um, argument between the two of them uh, <clears throat> in the press. And um, uh, Fitzgerald is, is not really known much for his poems other than his translation of the Rubaiyat. Now, the Rubaiyat is a collection of stanzas, where Rubaiyat actually means some act stanzas, uh, by a, um, a Persian mathematician named Omar Khayyam, who also wrote verses. Now, the thing about these verses is um, they're all about living the good life, and um, they're not so much about um, living the the moral life as determined by others, but rather living the good life um, in, you know, for yourself. So that's what the Rubaiyat really sort of, you know, you get a lot of verses about that. Um, and in Fitzgerald's translation, there are like, like 105, I think, stanzas. There may be a few more than that. Um, there are, have been other translations of the Rubaiyat done by other people that are a little more scholarly um, and are a little more complete. We have more of them. Um, it's unclear how many of the Rubai, uh, how many of the the stanzas in the Rubaiyat are actually by Omar Khayyam, and how many are by later poets who simply put Omar Khayyam's name on them because they were rather scandalous in Persia uh, in the in the 12th century. Um, so it's amazing a that the poems survived because they did, and that the um, that Fitzgerald, you know, who lives in a rather staid time, Victorian England is pretty staid, um, chose to write these poems, which really are about living the good life. So I'm just going to do a few stanzas of this, uh, but I certainly encourage you to find Fitzgerald's translation of the Ruvayad. It's well worth doing. Um, there is a nice recording of it done by Alfred Drake. Uh, if you can come across that, I don't know that it's actually available uh, easily, uh, you can find I think on Audible, um, but it, that's certainly worth um, worth catching. Uh, Albert Drake was a Broadway uh, star. He actually starred in the Broadway uh, musical Kismet. Um, so, um, at any rate, so here we have uh, some verses from the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, as translated by Edward Fitzgerald. A book of verses underneath the bough, a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou. Beside me singing in the wilderness, oh, wilderness were paradise enow. Some for the glories of this world, and some sigh for the prophet's paradise to come. Ah, 
take the cash and let the credit go, nor heed the rumble of a distant drum. Look to the blowing rose about us, low, laughing, she says, into the world I blow, at once the silvan, silken tassel of my purse tear, and its treasure of the garden throw. And those who husbanded the golden grain, and those who flung it to the winds like rain, alike to no such aureate earth are turned as, buried once, men want dug up again. So there we have a, a you know a handful of stanzas from uh, the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Um, the second one there, uh, talking about some people are, are are all about enjoying life, and other people are waiting for paradise in the in the world to come. His response is take the cash and let the credit go. So you could see where this might be seen as rather um, heretical. Um, in, in, you know, uh, in the 12th century, and still, I think, sort of bold for a 19th century Victorian poet. So, uh, I encourage you to go out and find the ruby out, read it aloud to yourself. It's, uh, it's sort of fun to read. Uh, there, are some, there are other famous stanzas from it that are, that are worth uh, uh, hearing. It will take some time to read it, um, because a lot of it is, I think, a little bit confusing. It's not a, sort of an easy read but I think it's well worth it. I think Fitzgerald does a good job. Um, I don't know how much, how accurate it is as far as the, you know, being close to the Persian, uh, but it is um, a work of art in its own right. So I will see you tomorrow.